SMT Nation, we back. We're going to ask the question and answer the question. Do consumers actually want fixed mobile bundles? Deanna Govert's Fierce Telecom, friend of the show, Roger Etner, offers the insights. What does the research say? What does the data imply? Let's take a look at this. I will link this story in the description. Cable companies, telcos like AT&T and Verizon have spent a lot of time talking up their ability to bundle fixed and mobile services, touting such offers as key retention and churn reduction tools. So what they're doing here is they're trying to get the customer sticky, get their relationship with the company deeper, offer them more services. Obviously, that improves their revenue. It increases their average revenue per account, the ARPA. But it overall just keeps the customer there because they get more entangled in what the company offers them. All right, you're less likely to leave a company if you not only have one service, but you have two or three services and you like and want and need all of them. But the question here is for the consumer, how much does the consumer actually want to bundle their service with a single operator? Do they really want to do this? According to Recon Analytics founder and friend of the show, Roger Etner, he told Fierce that bundling is far from a priority for most broadband customers. They're not lining up and they're not rushing for the convenience or just the singular bill, right? A lot of uh, people have thought that maybe that was a thing. That that definitely is not the case. They're ranking it like ninth or tenth most important thing. Uh, Roger has shared a lot of this information with us in the past, and we have seen uh, what all this means. It says here, people don't make decisions based on the bundle, but they do make the decisions based on performance and price. These two things, performance and price, rank much higher in the hierarchy of things that customers want. So if bundling is like ninth or 10th, price and performance is like first or second. (laughs) All right, so consumers may end up with a fixed bundle from Verizon, for example, but it's because they chose the provider based on price and performance rather than I just want everything on one bill from one company. The reason why people bundle is often because they get a discount. So that addresses the price piece. And if the performance is good enough or better than what they currently have, it is an absolute slam dunk. Uh, Moreover, he said, um, or I should say, this is WOW Communications, Comcast, Charter, Spectrum, Altice. These are your incumbent cable providers. Historically, AT&T and Verizon were the only major players to offer this capability. Now we're seeing more of the cable operators launching MBNO services. So this is where things kind of get messy. The same thing that Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile want to do. Now the cable operators are doing the same. They're going to give you the home internet option as the primary. They also sell the wireless service. Get some sort of a discount with it. It makes it more attractive. Consumers have responded favorably to these initiatives. Um. Obviously, the increased retention is good for the companies. Customer satisfaction is higher when the pricing is better. Customers are sticky. But this this kind of like seals the deal, right? It's not so much about customers wanting to bundle because it's easier. It's them willing to bundle because they save money or get some kind of a better performance on their experience. For those of you out there in the SMT Nation, do you have some sort of a bundle, meaning you have one service with a company and then you took on a second service with the company. What what made you want to do that? Was it the fact that it was just bundling convenient or was it the fact that they gave you a discount or an improved performance experience of the service? Love to hear what you have to say on this. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation, let your voice be heard. Like, share, subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notifications icon to never miss an upload. Links are in the description for my Twitter handle, my Gmail address for business inquiries, and my Patreon page if you want to support us and get early access to content exclusives not found anywhere else. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.